everyone, welcome back to our channel. This week we're taking you along with us to Rottnest Island. Located just 19 kilometers or 12 miles off the coast of Perth, Western Australia, this island paradise is celebrated for its crystal clear water, stunning beaches, rich history, and unique wildlife, including the world famous quokkas. Four years ago, we took a day trip to Rottnest Island and I fell in love with the quokkas. She's been wanting to come back and spend a couple nights ever since and we finally have the opportunity to do it. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? First, we need to find the ferry pier and buy some tickets, which are not cheap. Then we check out this awesome market, find the best cheese toasties in the world. Not sure if they were the best, but they're definitely good. There are two different ferry companies that run the service over Rottnest Island, and they have various pickup points all over the greater Perth area. Since we're in Fremantle, we're boarding the Rottnest Express at B-Shed. The ride over takes about 25 minutes, and snacks are available for purchase. But the seas were a bit rough today, so we stayed seated. The ferry company will take our bags all the way to our lodging, which is about one kilometer from the pier, so we walked straight away to get checked into our home for the next couple days at Discovery Rot Nest. This world-class eco-resort sets us up in the coolest and most comfortable tent we've ever stayed in. And at 350 US dollars a night, it is the most expensive. This is our tent. Yes, locking door. What do you think of our tent, Katie? This bathroom is bigger than anything I've ever seen, and it's beautiful. Thank you for my amazing Christmas present. Oh, I'm already in love. Hey, I thought you were in love with me. Well, missed it by that much. Rottnest Island was first discovered by Dutch explorer Willem de Vlaming in 1696. Can I paint this yoo-hoo gold? How about new? You crazy Dutch Thinking the masses of quokkas were rats, he named the island Rotanest, which means rat's nest in Dutch. Over the years, the island was used as a prison, then a military base. Today, Rotanest Island is a popular tourist destination and a haven for wildlife. There are quokkas all over the island at any time of day, but since they're mainly nocturnal, they really come out in the early evening. These adorable marsupials are native to Rotanest Island and are known for their friendly and curious nature, which can make it easy to forget that they are protected and it's illegal to touch them. They're often referred to as is the world's happiest animal and have become a symbol of the island. Early the next morning. Only official vehicles are allowed on the island, so bicycles are the perfect way to explore its stunning 63 beaches and bays. Not gonna happen. Looks like this is gonna be a walking tour. Just up the hill from where the ferry drops you off, you walk through the main settlement. There's some restaurants, a shockingly well-equipped store, pretty much anything you'd need for your stay here on Rottnest. And they're all quokka proof. From there, we're heading off to the right along the shore to see what we can find. My second favorite bird in Australia is the pelican. They're amazing. Small, medium, large. Have you ever seen a swallowing fish? Yes, they're huge and they're beautiful. Our first stop is the Wajamat Lighthouse for some gorgeous panoramic, pan pan panoramic views. <laughs> Built in 1896, this historic lighthouse is still in operation today and is one of the most popular non-furry attractions on the entire island. Just below the lighthouse is the stunning Pinky Beach, named for the pink hues of the water at sunset. This beach is the perfect place to spend an afternoon soaking up the sun. Well, it turns out we started here and went up to the Bathurst Lighthouse, not the Wajamup Lighthouse. So we are gonna go back up, tour around in here, maybe go around, possibly hit the Wajamup Lighthouse and the Oliver Hill Lookout later. Research. If you're gonna grow anything on this island, you have to make sure to keep it safe from the quokkas. The birds, another story altogether. The morning light on. Last night, there was a whole bunch of quokkas here. They're eating the red berries that fall off these trees. All of the ripe ones fell and they just went after them. In the middle of the island, there's these beautiful salt lakes. They have these giant, beautiful ducks called mountain ducks. Now this is the Wajimu Lighthouse. To me, they all look the same. This one's on the other side of the island. So there's a difference. Behind me on the hill over there is the Oliver Hill Gun Battery. This historical turret was used to protect Fremantle Harbor during World War II. There are tours of the turret available, but Kitty's more interested in finding some more quokkas than World War II history, so that's what we're off to look for. Sorry, Tracy.
several song-filled hours later. <laughs> John and Jay, we have to eat four of them. Oh, wow, there's no stick in them. These are really good. Thank you. <laughs> That is a wrap on our time here in Rottenest Island. Man, it went by fast. I'm sad to see us leaving. I would have liked an entire week here. It sounds crazy to say that it was worth it when it was 350 US a night for a tent. Now granted, it was a really nice tent, but seriously, I, I wish we could stay here for a week. I love the quokkas, the ravens. They're beautiful. And the noises they make, you make you laugh. I don't know if the kids imitate the crows or the crows imitate the kids, <laughs> but they definitely have a unique uh, vocalization <laughs> down here. Walking around the island was beautiful. The galahs. Oh, the galahs, <laughs> they were funny. <laughs> we did not get into the water. If you've watched our previous video at Rottenest a few years ago, you'll know why we didn't get into the water. It was so much fun. I'm so glad we came. Amazing experience. For more travel content, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Keep drinking this coffee. Make <laughs> the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>